Hi everybody and welcome to Fab Tax. I'm Rosemary and in today's video I have part three of my makeover series, the deck makeover, which like the other parts of the series feature Dollar Tree and Trash to Treasure decor DIYs. In the previous makeovers I did my patio and porch and I'll supply a link to those in the description box as well as links to all the DIYs for the Dollar Tree and Trash to Treasure decor pieces used in this makeover. I'm excited to show you how it turned out so let's jump right in. Okay, so this is our deck area that we will be remaking. And as you can see, it's a fairly small deck. We do have a small seven and a half foot by seven and a half foot pergola on top. And you can see as well that it sits pretty low to the ground. It is not elevated at all, maybe about one and a half to one foot off the ground. There's a little buster, high buster. And we also have some Ikea deck furniture as well. If you have been following the previous videos in this makeover series, you know that the plans for this outdoor space were designed by my husband before his passing. Now, I did not have the opportunity to complete these plans until after Hurricane Harvey. Let's say significantly impacted our house. In the previous video, Extreme Patio Makeover, which I will link here and in the description, I go more into that story as well as the reveal for the patio side of the design. But in this video, we're going to focus on the deck side of this plan. And from the drawing, you can see the larger deck as well as the small deck that joins to the patio, plus a pergola and koi pond. Now you can see in the two years since construction, this pergola has gotten pretty grimy. It is just, I can't believe how dirty it got, but it sure did. And so we're going to need to clean that up. Now, in addition, the outdoor furniture that we originally purchased from Ikea has you know kind of been through the ringer as well it uh, did survive the hurricane it didn't look so bad but um in the years after the hurricane i guess between the hurricane wear and the just wear and tear uh, of the last two years it just really has not looked good as well as the cushions also sustaining a lot of dirt and grime as well so those are going to need to be cleaned and we're going to need to refinish this furniture so uh to get the cushions cleaned. I employed the help of my son, Mark, because it is a little bit difficult to get these out. But we found that if you kind of fold the cushions in half, you're able to get them out. I mean, he still had to struggle with it a little bit, but um, it did come out fairly easy. And then it had to go back in that way, folding it and then pushing it back in. And then we just took the covers and threw those in the wash. For the furniture, I wanted to start with a power washing. But then I just couldn't believe it. Look at what's happening. Just with the power wash, the finish is coming right off. I could not believe how easy this was. This is like the easiest uh, furniture refinishing I've ever done in my life. It just took it right off. I was like, where's the Staples Easy button? Oh my goodness, super easy. And now here's the chairs after the power washing. And I'm gonna just take some uh, sandpaper and sand those down a little bit more. And then I'm going to stain them with some Benjamin Moore dark walnut stain. Now I had started staining with a rag like I normally do, but um, this wood was so porous I had to go to a brush instead. And then after me and my son Matt completed the staining, my daughter Nicole and my son Mark completed the polyurethane coat on top. In the meantime, the deck and pergola got a nice power washing. And so here you can see the deck right after that was finished. You can see as well all that dirt and grime off of the pergola. So once everything was nice and clean, the first thing we wanted to tackle was this bare brick wall to the back. And our idea was to use one of those curtain lights that you can get at Amazon. It's just like a whole curtain of light. And so here it is. This is the one that we purchased from Amazon and I will put this in the description box below. And here you can see it laid out before um, my daughter hung it up. And so she just started by attaching it to the top of the pergola and then just kind of wove it in between the slats and attached it to each of the slats, leaving the cord down below where it would have to be plugged in. And then she just kind of un, undid the little tie and it just falls right down straight. And then here you can see all of the strings hanging down and what the curtain looks like when it's unfurled. Next, she took some Christmas lights, just with uh, regular Christmas lights with a white string. And then she just wove that in between, again, the slats going across the top of the pergola. Next, we hung the hula hoop wall decor DIYs 
that were from a previous DIY video, which I will again link in the description box. And in order to hang those, I used some fishing line. I just bought this for about $2 at Walmart. And um, then I just used three pieces of fishing uh, line for each one of the hula hoops. And as you can see, it looks like they're just kind of floating in air. You can't even see the line. And here I'm trying to show you how I hung the line. You can see the line a little bit. I put one line in the middle and then two lines to either side so that it held it evenly in place. Next, we wanted to add a rug. And so I purchased this indoor outdoor rug. It's like a shag grass green rug from Walmart, Better Homes and Gardens brand. And um, it was, you know, kind of questionable. The kids are like, mm, I don't know about this. But um, we put it down and it's kind of it's nice and soft and kind of shaggy. And we ended up just loving it. And so you can see here where it kind of ties in that the green wall decor and it just works really well. And the price of this rug was $49.99 and that was for the six by nine foot rug. And then we just went ahead and added back the furniture and the cushions and then brought in the other side as well. And then here you can see the two sides as well as the uh, rug and the wall hanging and where we are at this stage of the decorating. I also wanted to show you how nice the cushions came out. Now I did have to use some of my favorite OxyClean gel stain stick, but it did a nice job and they came out pretty good. And then here as well on the small part of the deck are the two benches that were also refinished. And on top of those, I put some of my old seat cushions from the previous chairs that I had. And then also some of these boho style pillows that I got from Walmart and they were only $12.99. Before I start decorating the main seating area, I did want to add some curtains and I'm going to do that with some PVC pipe that I'm going to cut down to size with my coping saw. Then I'm going to spray them white and then I'm going to drill some holes in the areas where I'm going to thread through some zip ties, which I will use to attach the poles to the top of the pergola. And then here you can see how I drilled a hole in the pipe and then thread it through a zip tie and then took that zip tie and looped it around the uh, slat there on the pergola and then just secured the zip tie and cut off the tail. And then uh, I had to add my curtain. Now this has to be done in a fashion where you zip tie curtain, zip tie curtain, because once you put the zip ties on, you can't get the curtains on. So here I'm showing you how I added the curtain and then um, go down to the next spot where I again drilled a hole and attached the pole to the pergola with the zip tie. Um, I had to do that and then add the curtain on the other side of that before adding that final zip tie to the end of the pergola. And here you can see how you can still close the curtain. It's just going to stop wherever that spot that the zip tie is attached. So you want to be aware of that when you're placing your zip ties and you can get your full curtain. Okay, now for the fun part, the decorations. There you can see two of the planters from uh, previous planter videos, as well as the ladder planter um, there along the side. And then you can also see the hula hoop hanging um, wall decor. And then here on the table, we have a DIY Dollar Tree lantern, also from previous DIY. And again, all these will be linked in the description box. And then up top here is another Dollar Tree DIY light fixture. And then back behind the one sofa is a Trash to Treasure plant stand. And the beautiful pillows are from Walmart again for $12.99. And then here is another view and here you can better see the curtains on the pergola as well as the little copper hanging planters that were also from a previous DIY. Now there are some new items that were not featured previously. So if you recall from the original design, the plan called for some type of koi pond to be put in around the two decks. Now that was not going to happen because if I had to take care of one more living thing, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. But we did want to honor the original design, so voila, a koi fish fountain water feature. To create, I picked up a tabletop koi fish fountain from at home, which happened to be on sale for about $60, and then placed it on this concrete footing that was left over from the deck's construction. 
I then added some Dollar Tree solar lights and then surround it with some Black River rocks that I got from Home Depot for $10 for a 30 pound bag. And then here is the other reason that real koi would not have worked. This little guy might look cute and cuddly and all, but he's a killer. The other decor DIY that I did not cover previously in a video is this onion grass planter. To make these, I used these old planters that I used to have on my back fence when my shrubs were so small and I wanted to add some greenery and color to the back fence. And so these have been around a long, long time and have seen many, much better days. Uh, so what I'm going to do with those is just spray those with some black spray paint. And then I'm going to take these little containers that I purchased for three, four dollar at the Dollar Tree as well as some recycled cans of dog food. Now the cans are going to be painted white and then attached to the bottom of the Dollar Tree containers. And then I added a couple Dollar Tree solar lights to give some added light there along the edge of the deck. And I did them here taller with the spike attached. And um, I don't know, tell me what you think. I'm kind of liking it both ways, but you let me know in the comments if you think it looks better taller or shorter. And then since lights were such a big part of this makeover, I did want to show you what the deck looks like once the lights are coming on. This is just about dusk. So this is just as the sun's going down. You can start to see the contrast of the lights a little bit. And here you can see the ceiling lights as well as the back wall lights and some pretty candlelight going as well. And a little bit, you can see the solar lights starting to come on. And then here is a panoramic view. You can see how the larger deck attaches to the smaller and then how that goes into the patio area. And again, that is also lit up uh, for night with the candlelight and the twinkly lights on the trees and the planters. And again, that back wall curtain with the lights twinkling so pretty. And then here we go a little deeper into the night where darkness is falling a little more and those lights are becoming more prominent. And so again, you can see the ceiling lights and the back lights as well as the candlelight. And now those solar lights are really starting to glow. You can see that with the fountain, how pretty that's all coming together. And then again, a panoramic view starting with the patio all lit up with candlelight as well as some twinkling lights. And you can see more of that in depth of the patio in the patio makeover video again, which I will link in the description box below. But now you can really see those lights really starting to pop, creating a lovely and relaxing ambiance. Well, I hope you have enjoyed part three of the makeover series, The Deck Makeover. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give a thumbs up and please share with any family and friends you think would also enjoy this video. Also, please comment and let me know what you think of the makeover as well as the makeover series. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join the family. And don't forget that all of the Dollar Tree and Trash to Treasure decor DIYs featured in this video, as well as part one and part two of this makeover series will be linked in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Fab Tax. We're putting the extra and ordinary one DIY at a time.